Today I'm going to talk about leader election with Cassandra. Since version 2, Cassandra offers a new mechanism called lightweight transaction. It's based on Paxos, a consensus protocol that allows a distributed system to agree on proposals with quorum-based algorithm, with no masters required, and without the problems of two-phase commit. There are two steps on Paxos. The first one, prepare promise, and the last, propose accept. Prepare promise is the core of the algorithm. Any node may propose a value. We call that node a leader. The leader picks a number and sends it to the participating replicas. If the number is the highest a replica has seen, it promises to not accept any proposal associated with any earlier number. Along with that promise, it includes the most recent proposal it has already received. If a majority of the nodes promise to accept the leader's proposal, it may proceed to the actual proposal. But with the wrinkle that if a majority of replicas included an earlier proposal with their promise, then that is the value the leader must propose. Conceptually, if the leader interrupts an earlier leader, it must first finish that leader's proposal before proceeding with its own. If the responses reported no proposals, then the leader can send any value. But that's not all. Um, in Cassandra, we have two more steps. A read result after prepare promise to read the value and see if it matches the expected one in the SQL request. A last step, commit hack to insert the data into Cassandra storage. So, now that we have seen the theory, how to implement leader election with Cassandra? Lightweight transaction can be used with insert using the if clause. Um, a client acquires a lock by issuing the first statement. If he is the first one, the statement is applied and he has the lock. If the lease already exists and is held by someone else, uh, we get back the information that the statement wasn't applied. We can elect leaders with this approach by having nodes that want to become master try to grab the lease on start. Cassandra will return the same result to all clients except for the one that was elected leader. But remember that the Paxos implementation in Cassandra has four steps, so it's four times slower than another request. With that, you don't need to install Zookeeper just to elect a leader. You can do this with Cassandra. That's great, but is this really working? Well, we can ask Afir, who is with us today, maybe. He tried Cassandra in 2013 and found several issues with the Paxos implementation. All of them were resolved, so maybe it's time for a new Jepson. Thank you for listening.